They've been used by farmers for hundreds of years, but until the last decade or so, winter cover crops have been mostly planted on only a small portion of available farmland. That's starting to change, though. More farmers are using cover crops. According to a national survey, the number of acres farmers are planting with cover crops has nearly doubled since 2011. And a recent survey of 258 Nebraska farmers found 34% of them are using cover crops. Whatever the reason of why it appears that it's becoming more popular, ultimately doesn't matter too much. Uh, if people find that they can get a good benefit out of it and it helps the soil, um, I think if, if it's a trend or a movement or just um, a new thing, I think we can get a lot of value out of incorporating some cover crops in a lot of our farm ground. Farmers typically use winter rye or a combination of seeds to create biomass in the soil during the winter. The practice can help improve soil health, prevent erosion, control weeds, and provide winter forage for livestock. Here's the tricky part though. Different climates require different cover crops and the timing for planting isn't an exact science yet. There's limited of time in the fall to establish cover crops, and then there's only a short, maybe six to eight weeks growing period in the spring that the cover crops have before you have to kill them in order to plant uh, corn and soybeans. So it's actually not that easy to grow cover crops in those systems. Researchers at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln are conducting a number of cover crop studies involving corn and soybean systems. They're focused on discovering the balance between the known benefits of cover crops and the reluctance by many farmers to try anything that could affect their cash crop yields. If you were to ask any farmer, they would love to build their soil. They'd love to reduce environmental impact from their farming practices. But if you can't make economic sense of it this year, next year, it becomes a challenge. It needs to accomplish both those things, I think, for, for uh, cover crops to be really successful in their farming system. Although many farmers report an increase in cash crop yields when they use cover crops, research shows they can sometimes actually reduce yields the next season. Researchers say farmers who use cover crops are probably implementing them for longer term benefits. Those guys that have bought into it are looking for the long, long run. They're looking for the, their children and grandchildren down the road of how they're improving the soil, at least uh, in theory they are. But in the short term, you know, if you're leasing a piece of ground for five years, what's the advantage to you to, to put all the money and the time and the management and investment into uh, into cover crops when it may not return for you in that short five-year period of time. As researchers look for the best time to plant cover crops, farmers who want to use them as part of their cash crop systems are going to have to plan ahead. Could be after wheat, if you uh, grow wheat. It could be flying on that cover crop when the corn or soybeans are still standing. Whatever you can do to increase that window and opportunity for growth, I think is number one, and that requires planning. It requires looking ahead more than just a few weeks. He says cover crops have a long way to go before they're considered mainstream for Midwest farmers, but they have made an impressive comeback, an old farming method with new life. For Harvest Public Media, I'm Jack Williams.